What's up, everybody? This might be the best game pickup that I've ever done. Um, it's not the biggest, but just the amount of quality and stuff that I actually wanted to keep for my collection, there was a decent amount of. Um, now, I was contacted a while back by a YouTuber that goes by the name of KingDD83. Um, he sent me a message just saying he had a bunch of game stuff that he had picked up like at thrift stores that he was looking to get rid of um, and if I was interested you know he would send me a list um, it was a while until I heard from him again and I kinda contacted him and said hey you know just seeing if you still had those games and he goes oh yeah I'm sorry here I'll, let me put together a list for you he had been busy um, so he sent me this list and I'm going through it and it was a lot of stuff and I'm just like wow there's some like pretty rare stuff in here and then I'm seeing like some things that say like complete in box for some really rare things I'm like oh my god and then I'm thinking oh he's he's gonna want you know ridiculous amounts of money for this stuff so I, I sent him back the list um, saying you know the things I was interested in and we you know we, we try to figure out what was the best way to kind of go over everything condition wise and he actually took the time and made I think it was almost two hours of video of going over every single item. So first off, uh, King DD83, you have been the easiest and best person I've ever worked with in the sense of trading or buying uh, anything from bar none, definitely for taking two hours to do videos for me just to show me everything. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started because there is a decent amount of stuff. Now a couple things. This is not a for sale or trade video. This is just a pickup video. Um, I'm going to sort of show you first stuff that I'm not sure I'm going to keep for myself and then at the end I'll show you all the stuff I'm guaranteed keeping but right now none of it is for sale or trade because uh, the booth at the flea market is pretty empty right now and I would like to take and we're getting close to the weekend I mean this is going up on Thursday um, I'd like to take this stuff uh, to the booth um, you know for Sunday at least I don't know if I'm going to be there Saturday but definitely for Sunday and um, you know, have have the booth have at least a decent amount of games and some decent titles, um, and then you know after that, early next week, um, then I will do a uh, for sale or trade video with stuff that hasn't sold there or whatever. But again, this is nothing right now is for sale or trade. So uh, if you send messages saying, "Hey, I want to buy this," I probably am not even going to answer it because you know, that'll be next week. So, anyways, to get started, I'll start off with some things that I you know never come across at the uh, flea market or garage sales um, some Jaguar games we got Rayman <clears throat> Ultra Vortec Alien vs Predator and Doom now with these what's cool is we have the inlays the three inlays for the uh, controller for Alien vs Predator and not only that, but we have the book for Aliens vs. Predator. The cover on that one is coming off. Um, we have the book for Doom and the inlay for Doom. And then we have Rayman's book and Ultra Vortex book. So I was really surprised that he had all the manuals and the overlays for those. That was pretty sweet. Um, next, I'll do some of these handheld systems. I have not one, but two uh, Game Boy Advance SPs, and I they didn't come with chargers. Now, like I said, I'll, I'll repeat this. He went over every bit of detail, like ridiculously minute details of things, so I know I knew how everything was coming. I knew these weren't coming with chargers, anything like that. So um, now these didn't have chargers, like I said, but I did have I had a spare charger um, for at least one of those. And then we have a DS Lite with a little bit of cosmetic damage to the side. It looks like a dog, you know, had in its mouth for a second. Um, this, I ended up buying a charger at um, Game Traders, the video I just put up yesterday. Um, I bought that for like $3.50. And then we have uh, some NES games. We have a nice condition copy of Super Mario Bros. 3 with the manual. We have a, another nice condition Super Mario Bros. 3. We have a Mega Man 4 good condition with the manual as well. We have a Grey Cart Zelda. 
That's Super Mario Bros. 2 with the manual. And we have, out of the three, this is the worst condition one, but it's not horrible. Another Super Mario Bros. 3. <clears throat> and a couple more. We have a Metroid, really good condition, with the manual. And then we have Times of Lore uh, that... It's in good condition, but the manual is sort of like bubbling a little bit in the middle. And the manual. The, the uh, front label is bubbling a little bit. Now we have uh, some PS1 titles. Actually, a decent amount of PS1 titles. Um, now I'm not going to open each one up or go anything, but they... I think all of them are complete except for one. Um, and... Some of them in the manuals, like a kid took a pen and circled some of the like the characters and stuff. But overall, they're in pretty decent shape. We got Greatest Hits, Legends of Dragoon, uh, Mega Man Legends, Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. We got uh, Crash Team Racing, Crash Bash. Uh, Spyro the Dragon, Greatest Hits. This is the only one I think that's not complete. Another Spyro the Dragon, no manual. Uh, Mega Man X4. Alien Resurrection. Crash Team Racing, another one. Uh, Spyro Year of the Dragon. This actually, I think this one had a worse condition like manual, but I actually had a Year of the Dragon manual um, chilling in a box, so I just swapped those out. Spyro, Ripto's Rage. Another copy of Spyro the Dragon. First Crash Bandicoot. And Mortal Kombat Gold on the Dreamcast. And then up oh, one more PS1 title, another Legend of Dragoon, Greatest Hits. Um, now, before I go on, I'll, I'll sort of uh, say, as you're seeing sort of like the overall decent quality of stuff, um, this was all things he found, like I said, at thrift stores um, while he's out picking. So, in general, I'm going to, I'm just guessing, because he didn't tell me each individual price he paid, obviously, but I'm going to guess it was somewhere in the few dollars range for almost, you know, everything here. And um, he gave me an amazing, like, deal for all of this stuff. Probably, he, he probably made money off of, you know, what he paid for it, but we're talking like, he almost gave it to me, like, he just found it at the thrift store. So, um, you're gonna get props from me forever, and shoutouts, just, <laughs> just so you know, also. We have a copy of Dragon's Fury, a pinball game on the Genesis. This one does not have the manual, though. But I believe every other, uh, Genesis title I will show in this video does. Um, Rolling Thunder 3, this one... Has the manual. Um, the uh, cover art is a little funky. It has like a rip there and a rip there. We have Sword of Vermilion, which is complete manual game, and the little um, <clears throat> uh, what is it actually? Oh, the just called hint book. The Sword of Vermilion hint book. Uh, let's see. We have Castlevania: Curse of Darkness. These are all complete. Uh, we love Katamari, Star Wars Battlefront 2 on Xbox, a non-greatest hits version that seems every friggin' copy uh, ever find or Joey ever has is the greatest hits version. Super Mario Strikers, I know this one actually does not have the manual, but it has like the paperwork, um, the other little promo stuff inside. Uh, complete copy of Pokemon XD, um, Gale of Darkness, complete copy of Resident Evil Zero. We have... Uh, Sonic CD complete. Uh, we got a uh, the disc for a Game Boy Advance player on the GameCube. Um, I have someone that requested me to uh, to find one. That someone is Carlos. So I will say, out of everything so far, this is a guaranteed going to Carlos because I literally got that for him. Uh, we got Super Mario All Stars. And two copies of Super Mario World, one that is in pretty decent shape, just a little chip on the top of the label, and then one that is not in that decent shape, it has scratches all over the label. And, let's see, we have a few Game Boy Advance games. 
I just got another copy of Mario Kart Super Circuit. We have uh, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3, which I actually have like a little manual for this in a box as well. And now these, um, I'll explain more. There's more to these, and I'll explain that in a few minutes. Um, Metroid, or sorry, Metroid Zero Mission and uh, Final Fantasy 1 and 2, Dawn of Souls. And then a couple 64 games. We got Super Mario 64 and the uh, 3D Majora's Mask. Actually, there were more PS1 games. Sorry about that. Try to keep everything at least in a little bit of order. Crash 2. Wow, wow, we're already over 10 minutes. This video is going to be up late today. Eternal Eyes. Uh, Digimon Rumble Arena. Resident Evil 2. This one, uh, the manual is completely toasted, like water damaged. And I think the back cover art also had some water damage. Um, I think out of all of them, that's the worst condition PS1 game. Um, Final Fantasy 8. A black label version. I've always seemed to get the greatest hits ones. And then a copy of Skull Monkeys with the lenticular cover there. That's an awesome game. Um, we also have in this box uh, Final Fantasy Strategy Guide, which is in overall really good shape. Just has a few little stains on the back there. <clears throat> a uh, visual data, like art book for Persona 4. And a couple pins um, for Sonic 10th Anniversary, two of those. Now, that's all stuff that I'm sort of on the fence almost with, you know, if I'm keeping or not. Um, but most of that's probably going to be for sale or trade. Um, now this stuff, though, I'm absolutely keeping. Um, <clears throat> let's see. We have, we'll start with the few manual or the um, strategy guides. We have... Secret of Evermore, which is in really nice shape, just has a little bit of wear to the spine, but it almost seems like it was never taken off a store shelf. We have a Paper Mario Strategy Guide, which is a little, you know, rough on the outside, but overall in good condition. Uh, let's see, I have a few Nintendo games here. Um, Adventure Island 2 and Zen Intergalactic Ninja. I did not own either of those two. We got uh, a couple Turbo Graphics 16 games, Legendary Axe Complete, well, without the outer cardboard box, uh, and Space Harrier, and then one PS game I'm keeping for myself I didn't own, Jersey Devil, and then let's see, I have a few Genesis games, we got a complete Boogerman with the poster in there, um, Jewel Master Complete. I'm going to try to pronounce it correctly. Thelios. Complete. And uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Warriors of the Eternal Sun. And this one also has its uh, little hint book, which I'll show you in a second. It's at the bottom of this box. Um, now, with those uh, two Game Boy Advance games, the Metroid and the Final Fantasy, the reason why I have those separate is I already own them, but I, I didn't have the boxes and uh, manuals for them. Oops, that's backwards. Um, so, I'm keeping the box and manual uh, for both of those. <clears throat> and then I have, this is pretty odd, especially to be like complete in box, Calibri on the 32X, little hummingbird uh, shooting game. Where this was made by the people that did Echo the Dolphin. Um, looks really fun. And I have a few more, let's see, I want to get to this, these few more guides first before I show off like the really super great stuff. Um, here's the uh, hint book for Dungeons and Dragons, which is in good shape. And then I have a Vanguard Bandits um, PS1 game strategy guide. Uh, the cover and uh, is in rough shape, but the guide inside itself is in great shape and it actually still has um, like its stickers in the back. This one, hold on, where are they? This one came with, like, stickers back there. Actually, those aren't even the stickers. Those are the stickers. There we go. Right there. And let's see. I don't want to rip it. Come in, Vanguard Bandits. Don't be a dick. There we go. All right. And then um, a really nice condition, Lunar 2 um, strategy guide. Really good shape. 
stupid Vanguard bait its sleeves I want to go back on. All right, um, so now sort of the best stuff, I guess, that I was really looking forward to keeping. I've been really into getting boxed games recently, um, mainly boxes and manuals for games I already own. Uh, this was just box only of uh, Paper Mario. Um, and then these were all complete. A really nice condition. Uh, Dungeon Magic um, complete. That's the sub of Sword of the Elements. <clears throat> we have Faria. Um, a World of Mystery and Danger NES game complete. The box is in pretty damn good shape. The cart um, was covered in uh, stickers and I will show you real quick, just mainly to show King Didi. Um, it was in covered in rental stickers. I removed every rental sticker that was on it. The only thing that's left is a little like Sharpie marker right up there, which I will remove as well. Um, and the manual inside um, was in, it's in very, very rough shape, but I actually uh, managed to get the few stickers that were on that off. Um, so it's in better condition than it was. Um, now here are the last couple things. Um, are the, the things that were the absolute amazement that he gave to me at the prices he did. Um, a complete copy of Jim Fire on the NES in pretty much like almost perfect condition. It had a rental sticker across just a little bit of the top of the um, uh, top of the label on the game that came right off. So this is now like absolutely amazing. And this, which I, I kept for last, but um, I might, uh, this is probably, this is not going to be kept by me, um, but I wanted to keep it for last because it was sort of like the, the, probably the most interesting thing in here. A pretty much perfect copy of DuckTales 2. Um, like, label is, is almost perfect on it, and there's really no marks or anything on the card. It almost looks like it's brand new. Um, so that, that definitely was the highlight, but I don't know. This might be the, really the highlight. My Little Pony on the PC. He sent this uh, for Jabroni, so I have to give that to Jabroni on an episode of Video Game Sellers. Um, but that is it uh, for this pickup. I, like, I, I can't thank you enough, uh, King DD83. Um, there's there's things in this collection that I never thought I would own, if unless I was going to have to pay, you know, a ridiculous amount of money for it. So thank you very much. And um, there is a couple more. There's one more shout out. I guess I want to give out um, a guy who uh, I've done a few transactions with. He purchased, uh, his YouTube name is G Unit Colima, and um, he's purchased a few things from me. He has a, uh, a cool thing he's been doing where he's making custom little sleeves, just the sleeve parts for NES games, and he puts cool artwork on them for different you know, characters and games um, on the NES. So go check his channel out. I'll leave a, a link for his stuff down below. It's not it's not for sale. I believe he just wanted to you know basically share. He'll, he'll share the, like the files if you, if anyone wants to do these himself, and he'll you know tell you how he did them. Um, but I'll, I'll give you links to his channel down below, and also um, of course King DD83. Um, he'll have a, a link down below as well in the description code. So go check both their channels out. Subscribe. And um, like I said, not for sale right now. Keep an eye out early next week for a sale or trade video. And thank you all for watching. Peace.